Okay, so what are we going to do today? Well, I showed, if you've seen my previous video, video on this gun, this is my uh, um, PSA uh, Anderson lower, PSA upper. It's the 223 Wild stainless fluted upper. I did a video on it. You can check that out if you want to. It is a, uh, it's a good rifle. It's got a standard mil spec trigger on it. It's a, uh, you know, it's nothing special. It's, but let's do a, uh, let's see what the trigger pull is on it right now. So right now we're at zero. We're ready. All right, let's see what we got. This is saying seven pounds, 4.5 ounces. That we're ready. Let's pull. Seven pounds, 14 ounces. Seven pounds, 3.5 ounces. Seven pounds, 2.5 ounces. So we're around seven and a half, seven pounds, four, seven pounds, five, whatever. So that's the standard trigger pull. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is installing this uh, Rock River Arms uh, National Match Stage uh, national match two stage trigger. Um, you can get these in, in a variety of places. Um, this one was, I think I paid around $80. Uh, I'm not sure to be honest whether I thought oh, I ordered it on uh, on eBay. Some guy on eBay sells them. So um, there's actually probably plenty of videos out there of people installing these, but it comes with your two your trigger and your hammer pin and then of course your hammer and the trigger get everything on there good pop the pins back in now let's check for function it feels noticeably lighter there's that reset it does feel a lot lighter to me there's a little bit of take up now. I guess that's the first stage. And there's that really light second stage. We got it racked there. Let's clear out our gauge. And let's hit ready. Let's see what we got now. 6.7. Hmm, not a whole lot different. Five point one three. That's a little better. Maybe I don't know. Five point five five. Five point ten point five. Five pound ten point five ounces. Five point eleven ounces or five pounds eleven ounces. So we had an average of five pounds twelve point five ounces. I think before we were probably around seven pounds five ounces so it took almost two pounds off the trigger pull okay so now we're out shooting it with this new trigger new trigger feels real good here i am sighting in uh an eight power by 56 um millimeter russian scope that i put on it i took that monstrum scope off because it just wasn't working right for me i think there's something wrong with the reticle anyway trigger feels real good shooting I was getting some pretty good accuracy with it. I, you know, like I said, I was getting it sighted in here initially. Um, there's other people shooting at the range, by the way. There's all those shots aren't mine, but um, I get I'm getting it sighted in. Trigger's feeling really good. It's working in nicely. Uh, I'm uh, really liking this new uh, this two stage trigger. I've never done a, a a different trigger other than mil spec on an AR, so it's a new thing for me and it feels real good I like the way it feels I like the way it resets um, for a hundred dollars or eighty dollars even um, usually they sell for about a hundred for eighty dollars I thought it worked real well um, next up I'll be looking we're gonna be looking at me shooting at some 300 yard uh, targets and you can really see how well that trigger is working because I'm getting some pretty good hits at 300 yards now here's at 300 yards, there's a big swinging steel plate you can see there in the middle and there's two smaller ones on either side. And uh, you know, I'm getting pretty regular hits on the big one here. You can see, you can tell when it hits, you can see there's a big puff of it, smoke from it or whatever, lead. And uh, 
there's a little audible sound you can tell it's not a real ding but here I'm starting to shoot at the little plate which is harder to hit but obviously you can see I'm missing but then there's a hit um, there's a hit and that's the big plate again I think and uh, there's a little plate again good hits yeah you can see it swinging there so I'm hitting it good it's a lot of fun this rifle so anyway just wanted to show what kind of accuracy I was getting out of it at the range reliable so anyway that's how I upgraded to a Rock River um, trigger uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below please like the video if you enjoyed if you thought it was helpful to you or if you liked it uh, subscribe if you want to see other videos uh, share it if with your vast social media networks out there um, I'm sure I didn't teach you anything you didn't already know on here, but for those of you who just like looking at videos like I do, here's another one of somebody putting in a Rock River Arms trigger. So have a good day and uh, be safe out there shooting.